Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to technology explore my name is Usman and today in this video I am going to show you how you can make the barbecue grill on solid wax by using sheet metal tab so keep watching this video till end and if you want to download these files uh, then I will leave the download link in the description of this video or agar ye video aap urdu mein dekhna cha rahe hain to same video jo urdu mein hogi uska link aapko is video ki description mein mil jayega Okay let's get started first of all you have to click on this new button and uh, then double click on the part first of all we have to make a sketch on front plane so click on front plane and then sketch on it and then draw a sketch by using line command and uh, draw it like this now press escape key then select this origin and this line and make them uh, midpoint relation then select both these lines and make them equal also collinear and then define the distances so height from this line up to this line is 3 inch in for inch and uh, this distance is 5 inch 5 in for inch and then this length is 0.5 inch press escape key then go to sheet metal tab here and select base flange tab from here drop down these options and then select mid plane and then type here the extrusion thickness or extrusion length which is 12 inch and then scroll down and uh, here is the uh, thickness of the material or you can say thickness sheet metal thickness so uh, i'm go i'm going to use 1.6 mm thick sheet then press okay button save this part base and then once again press control plus n for new and then again make a new part okay here uh, once again sketch on front plane and uh, draw a sketch by using line command and draw a sketch like this press escape key select the origin and uh, this line and make them midpoint relation between them and then select both these lines and make them equal after that define the distance this width is 1 inch and this uh, this length is 5 inch So as you can see 5 inch is 127 mm so i have to reduce this size uh, bit so uh, instead of 127 mm i think it should be 117 mm then uh, go to sheet metal tab and from here select base flange tab from here select mid plane and type here 12 inch 12 inch minus 10 mm and then press enter after that um, if you can see sheet metal parameters and then press okay button now what we have to do we have to make some extrude cuts here so for that click on this face and sketch on it make normal to by pressing control plus 8 key from your keyboard and then draw some rectangles like this press escape key then define the distance between both these lines which is uh, um 30 mm then define the distance between this line up to this line also 30 mm and this distance is also 30 mm press escape key now select both these lines and make them equal and also collinear now from here change the shade from show hidden lines and then drag this corner up to this hidden line so you can see our sketch is fully defined now uh, what we have to do we have to go to feature tab and from here select extruded cut command and cut it from throughout this part press okay button 
now uh, once again uh, from features tab select fillet command and fillet this corner this corner also select all these corners one by one okay uh, now scroll down from here and here is the uh, fillet radius so instead of 10 type here 14 millimeter radius and uh, then press ok button now uh, once again we have to make some extrude cuts here so for that click on this face and then sketch on it press ctrl plus 8 key for normal to view orientation and uh, then select this two point straight slot and uh, draw it like this press escape key then select center line and draw it from this midpoint up to this midpoint press escape key then select this uh, center line and uh, make it vertical after that define this distance which is 15 millimeter and uh, this distance is 12 millimeter the distance from here up to uh, up to this edge or this uh, quadrant point is also 12 millimeter press escape key now go to features tab and from here select extruded cut command cut it from throughout this part and press ok button now uh, in the features tab click on linear pattern button here first of all select the direction in this direction and then scroll down we do not have to select uh, the direction too so for, uh, skip it and then scroll down and here is the features and faces uh, for which you are going to make the linear pattern so click on this box and then expand uh, this feature manager tree and from here select extrude cut uh, cut extrude 2 and uh, then scroll up and here is the distance it should be 25 millimeter and uh, then increase the instances so up to 11 instances then press ok button so now um, save this part as grill one thing which i have forgot to add here so uh, we have to make some holes for air uh, intake of this uh, barbecue grill so click on this face and then select sketch press ctrl plus 8 key for normal to view orientation and uh, then draw some circles uh, select center line connect both these circles like this again center line draw it from here up to this center point select all these three circles and make them equal then select this center line and make it vertical now uh, add the dimension of these circles which is one zero millimeter press escape key uh, define the distances between uh, between very end of this circle up to very end of this circle so for that press and hold shift key and then select this circle and this circle so the this distance is uh, i think it should be 8 millimeter similarly we have to define this distance so there is another way let me show you now go to leaders and from here scroll down and from here select minimum and minimum so it is also 8 millimeter first of all change the shade from here and then define the distance from here up to end of the circle so press and hold shift key and it is uh, 22 millimeters now uh, define distance from here up to this cent uh, midpoint 25 millimeter now define the distance between this center point up to this line uh, let's say 10 millimeter and press escape key now go to uh, features tab here and then select extruded cut command cut it from throughout this part and then press ok button again uh, once again we have to use linear pattern so uh, select the direction uh, this direction and uh, scroll down 
from here features and faces box click on it and then expand this feature manager tree and select extrude cut one scroll up increase the distance up to 50 mm and decrease the quantity so the quantity is 6 and the distance is 50 mm and then press ok button now once again save it and now uh, the last thing which we have to make is that we have to make um, a closing a plate to close uh, this side once again start a new part and uh, click on front plane and then sketch on it draw a rectangle like this define width which is 126 mm and height is 76 mm go to sheet metal tab and select base flange tab then press okay button in sheet metal tab click on edge flange here and then select this edge in this direction and uh, scroll down here is the length of this uh, flange and it should be 1 inch so 1 in inch then press okay button after that uh, once again click on this face and then sketch on it press control plus 8 key for normal to be orientation then draw a rectangle first change the shade from here and uh, then draw a rectangle start it from here like this one rectangle here then select both these lines and make them equal now define this distance and uh, 50 mm is okay then uh, go to features tab here and from here select extruded cut command then press okay button click on this face and sketch on it press control plus 8 key for normal to view orientation and then select two points load draw it like this then draw center line from here up to this point again center line from this midpoint up to this midpoint then select this center line and make it vertical this center line and make it horizontal now define this distance and uh, uh, it should be 10 mm also define this width 30 mm press escape key now again go to features tab and from here select extruded cut command then press okay button after that in the features tab from here select fillet command and select this edge or corner and then this corner fillet radius is 10 mm which is okay uh, for me then press okay button finally we have done now save it now let's assemble all these parts together uh, to see how our products uh, final product will looks like so once again uh, start from new and then double click on the assembly import all these three parts here base select this face and then press and hold control key from your keyboard and select this face release the control key and then select the coincident relation after that select this face press and hold control key this face this face and this face release the control key and then select width made okay once again width made between this part this side and this side so select this face this face this face and this face and make the width made now um uh, last step is that we have to attach this one so for that select this face and this face make the coincident made similarly select this face and this face make coincident made and then select this face and this face and make coincident made now we have to mirror this part on this side 
so for that go to assembly tab here and uh, click on this arrow below the linear component pattern and from here select mirror component first of all it will ask you to select the mirror uh, plane so drop down this option uh, feature manager tree and uh, in feature manager tree drop down uh, the feature manager of base and from here select its front plane then it will ask you to select the component to be uh, mirrored so select this plate then click on this next arrow so here is the preview we have generated and if you uh, if the, the, this preview is not okay then you can change or select next for different options so option number 2 is okay and then press okay button so uh, we have successfully created the barbecue grill and uh, one thing which i think which uh, should be here is that it should have some supports or some legs so for that but we should do uh, once again we have to make a new part select front plane sketch on it draw a sketch by using line command like this select both these lines and make them equal then define the distance 1 inch press escape key go to sheet metal tab and from here select base flange tab command and uh, in the direction one select mid plane and type here the length um, 3 inch is uh, 3 inch is i think more than enough for this um, uh, barbecue grill then press okay button after that select this face and sketch on it press control plus 8 key for normal to view orientation and then draw a sketch by using line command define this distance 25 mm this distance is 10 mm press escape key go to features tab and from here select extruded cut command press okay button similarly we have to make same thing on this side so now save this part as leg now go to assembly and import this uh, leg into the assembly right click and uh, press and hold right click on the leg to rotate it like this then select this face this face make coincident relation this face and this face make coincident relation and uh, then select this face and this line and make coincident relation now on the same way i will add this leg uh, on all rest of these uh, three corners so press and hold control key from your keyboard then select and drag this leg to make its duplicate okay this is how we can make the barbecue grill on solid wax by using sheet metal features and if you want to know how to make the dxf files of any sheet metal part in solid wax for that i have another video on this topic i will leave the down, uh, leave the uh, video link in the description of this video you can watch and learn from there so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video don't for forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more videos like this